Hi students, I'm Jeff, and this is the reading and listening material that goes with the math conversation material. In order to help you learn vocabulary and expressions more easily, I am now going to have that material come from the reading material so that you can see it in context. You should get in the habit of trying to comprehend words and sayings in context anyways. My suggestion for how to approach the reading material is to do the following. Step one, just listen to me read the article. Don't look at it. Two, go over the vocabulary and expressions with me. Three, read the article on your own. Don't listen to the video. Try to analyze the new words and expressions and any grammar items that you find and have been studying or having difficulty with. Four, Listen to me read the article again and follow along by reading the article silently. Five, read the article out loud. Don't listen to my reading. And six, finally, listen to my reading again without looking at the article. Like I said, this is just a suggestion. If you find a method that you are more comfortable with, then go with that. All right, here is the article. With math anxiety, the brain feels the pain. New research shows that math anxiety creates a response in the brain similar to when people experience physical pain. Researchers at the University of Chicago used brain scans to determine that the areas of the brain active when people who are very anxious about math prepared to do math problems overlap with the same areas that register the threat of bodily harm and physical pain. For someone who has math anxiety, the anticipation of doing math prompts a similar brain reaction as when they experience pain, say burning one's hand on a hot stove said researcher and psychologi psychologist Dr. Sian Bylock. The researchers note that it was the anticipation of having to do math and not actually doing the math that looked like pain in the brain. The brain activation does not happen during math performance, suggesting that it is not the math that hurts, rather the anticipation of math is painful, said Ian Lyons, a 2012 PhD graduate in psychology from, UFC, from U of C, now a postdoctoral scholar at Western University in Ontario, Canada, who co-authored the study. For the study, the researchers recruited 14 adults who were shown to have math anxiety based on their responses to a series of questions about math. Additional tests showed that these individuals were not overly anxious in general, according to the researchers, who note their heightened sense of anxiety was specific to math. The study volunteers were tested in an fMRI machine, which allowed researchers to examine brain activity as they did math. Volunteers were given mathematics equations to verify, for example, the validity of the following equation. In parentheses, 12 times 4 minus 19 equals 29. While in the fMRI scanner, subjects were also shown short word puzzles. For example, they were shown a series of letters such as Y-R-E-S-T-Y-M and had to determine if reversing the order of the letters produced a correctly spelled English word. The scans showed that the higher a person's anxiety about math, the more anticipation about math activated the posterior insula, 
a fold of tissue located deep inside the brain just above the ear that is associated with registering direct threats to the body as well as the experience of pain, the researchers said. These anxiety levels were not associated with brain activity in the insula or in any other neural region when the volunteers were actually doing math. The researchers suggest that for those with math anxiety, a painful sense of dread may begin long before a person sits down to take a math test. Previous research has shown that highly math anxious individuals tend to avoid math related situations and even math related career paths. The current work suggests that such avoidance stems in part from painful anxiety. The current work is also consistent with other research from Bylock and Lyons in which they showed that the mere anticipation of doing mathematics changes functioning in the brains of people with high levels of math anxiety. Bylock's work has also shown that mathematics anxiety can begin as early as first grade and that female elementary school teachers often transmit their math anxiety to their female students. This latest study indicates that indicates there can be a real negative psychological reaction to the prospect of doing math. This reaction needs to be addressed like any other phobia according to the researchers suggesting that students who are anxious about math need help to become more comfortable with the subject. In previous studies Bylock has shown that writing about math anxiety before a test can reduce worries and lead to better performance. All right, now let's go over the vocabulary. I don't actually have any expressions for today because I didn't see any in the article. <clears throat> Anxiety. That means fear and worry. Brain scans are images of the brain taken by some sort of machine. To overlap means to cover part of something else. So these papers can overlap each other. To register means to perceive or pick up. A threat is a possible danger. Anticipation is feeling or fearing that something is going to happen. A stove is something that you cook on top of. Heightened means increased. FMRI stands for functional magnetic resonance imaging. Validity means truth, accuracy, logic. A puzzle is a question or problem designed to test one's intelligence. A fold is a part of something that has been doubled over. So this piece of paper has two folds, one, two. Tissue is a collection of cells working together to perform a body function, such as skin tissue, muscle tissue, nerve tissue, etc. Neural means related to the nervous system. Dread means fear. The verb tend means to be likely to. Avoidance is the act of trying not to do something. Mere means nothing more than simple, pure. To transmit is to carry from one place to another. To indicate is to show. A prospect is a possibility. A phobia is an irrational fear. And to 
Reduce means to decrease or to make less. Alright, thanks for watching and take care.